Wintertime can be a great season for treating invasive plants. In winter, there's less chance of negatively affecting non-target species since most plants and animals are dormant or not present. Many sites are also easier to access in winter. And finally, frozen ground can help prevent soil disturbance. However, it is important to be able to identify plants in winter. Marking plants during the growing season can help you find them later in the winter. Though every species is different, the techniques shown in this video are similar to those that can be used for other invasive plants. Small plants can be effectively hand-pulled in winter. In addition to your hands, garden tools or a weed wrench can be very effective. Garlic mustard is one plant that can be controlled by hand pulling. It is a biennial and often stays green and active over its first winter as a rosette. In its second year, the mustard produces the characteristic floral shoots. When pulling any invasive species, there are several precautionary measures to be considered. Always try to get as much of the root out of the ground as possible. Minimize soil disturbance and cover up any exposed soil with leaf litter. And finally, avoid leaving plants where they may come in contact with moist soil. For garlic mustard, it's easy to just bag the material. Don't pull large woody plants since that will disturb excess soil and can also be quite challenging. Instead, larger plants can be cut in the winter and then retreated during the following growing season. Winter cutting can work for many woody invasive plants, including Asian bittersweet, bush honeysuckles, barberries, and more. These plants will be easier to control in the growing season because they will be weaker and smaller. Loppers, chainsaws, or just about anything that cuts will do the job. For larger areas, it may be most effective to hire a contractor with heavy equipment. Machinery like this is very effective for thick areas with many invasives. Herbicides are often the most effective way to manage invasive plants. However, the use of chemicals should be done with caution. Before using chemicals, there are many factors to consider, including weather, wet areas, and sensitive organisms. Always follow the product directions written on the package label and research what rules and regulations apply in your state regarding who and where herbicides can be applied. If in doubt, contact an expert. Not all herbicides are effective in winter. 
It's very important to select oil-based herbicides like those containing the active ingredient triclopyr. Garlon 4A and Pathfinder are brand names. Water-based products like Roundup or Rodeo are not effective in winter since plants are not actively transporting water. For those landowners who want to manage larger plants, cut stem herbicide treatment is an option. To accomplish this, plants are first cut at the base. Herbicide is then applied to the freshly cut surface. Only the outer edge of the cut stem needs to be sprayed, since that is where the herbicide is absorbed. And don't overspray. If possible, purchase herbicide with dye in it so you can keep track of what you have done. For bigger infestations, it's easier to use a backpack sprayer instead of a hand bottle. Basal bark spraying presents a very cost-effective option for controlling woody invasives. Rather than cutting the stem, the oil-based herbicide is simply sprayed on to the root collar. Once again, don't overspray. The plant is left in place to die. From an ecological perspective, this method is beneficial since the plant can still provide some function, like cover, to small mammals and birds. Controlling invasive plants in winter can be an effective strategy. With a little research and practice, most landowners can do it on their own. For larger areas, it's recommended you hire a trained invasive species contractor. For more information about the content of this video, please contact the Rhode Island Natural History Survey.